Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a continuation of the remote power monitoring project and this is the XB adapter kit and this will be the first component of the system that I put together and uh, I'll get this adapter kit together and plug in an XB and configure it as a receiver. That'll be the first part and then from there I'll go on to take apart uh, the kilowatt meter and add an XP transmitter to that. And for complete documentation and very detailed assembly instructions, you can go to the LadyAda.net website, and they have all the resources and information that you that you need in order to uh, complete this project. The first component we're going to install is a 10K resistor that's brown, black, and orange. And that uh, is R3. So R3 goes right here. And you can see that's uh, brown, black, and orange. Now on the opposite side, just spread the leads a little so if you are going to uh, solder it from the other side they won't fall out and now I can solder it The next two resistors are 1K resistors, brown, black, and red. And they go right there. Spread those leads out. And I'll turn it over to solder. And I'll clip those leads off. So you can see what the three resistors soldered in place look like. Next to be installed are two LEDs. There's a green one and a red one. Uh, the green one indicates that the XB is on and running. And the red one indicates the signal strength that it's receiving a signal. So you should be able to see the positive there. This is the green LED goes on the left. And the uh, left lead here is the positive, the longer lead. And that goes on this side. And the red, red LED with the longer lead going in the hallmark positive. That goes on the right hand side here. So I've already soldered those in place and I'm just going to clip these leads. So that's what the board looks like now. Next we have a 47 microfarad electrolytic cap and it goes up in this corner here so I'm going to turn the board around. So here's the 47 microfarad electrolytic cap and there's a line with a negative sign on it and that's on the side with the shorter lead and the longer lead indicates uh, that's the positive positive. and there is a positive mark right here where the positive lead goes into on the PC board so the longer lead goes in there and that's the capacitor so I'll solder that in place. Clip those leads off. The next component is this 
3.3 volt regulator. It takes 5 volts and supplies 3.3 volts to this adapter board. Uh, the electrolytic capacitor here, the 47 microfarad capacitor, that helps maintain the 3.3 volts under load. And then there's a little ceramic capacitor which is going to filter out high frequencies which goes right here. That goes right here. Now it describes in the uh, on the website the documentation that there's another XB Pro module that's a little bit longer and it can hit this 3.3 volt regulator. Uh, so one option is just to bend it over at uh, a 90 degree angle so it's flush against the board and that way uh, later on if you want to plug in a an XB Pro module uh, it won't bump into this 3.3-volt uh, regulator. So that's what I've done. And that'll go in here. So let me solder those two components. The next component to install is this IC. This is a Texas Instruments 74125 quad bus buffer three-state output. And it helps transition from a 2 to 5-volt signal to a 3.3-volt signal. So this is the buffer between those two voltage levels, voltage uh, signal levels. So I don't know if you can see there's an impression here or a little divot uh, that's keyed. Make sure you, you align that up with the, uh, the mark there. See that? I think that picks that up in the light. And that uh, has to go like that. So this is a 14 pin device. I'll tack uh, a couple of the pins from this side and then turn it over and finish uh, soldering the rest of the pins. So I'll solder the rest of the pins here. So that's with the IC chip in there. 74, 125. Let's look at the other side. And that's what that looks like. And the last two components are these header sockets that accept the, the pins from the XP. So let me install those. So these go on either side. One there. And one here. I'd have to tape those down or just hold them as I tack them from the other side one pin at a time. So I have the two sockets on here and now I just want to break off a piece of this 90 degree uh, male header pins here. You can see how it makes it easy for that cable to plug in now that I have this 90 degree pin. So now I'll just solder on this 90 degree Mill header pin here. And then all I have to do is plug in the XP and hopefully it'll work. So that's the finished product. Now we just plug the XP into that. So the XP plugs into these two sockets here. Hopefully they align up. There it goes. Guess that's in and have the antenna here. Guess you can bend it. That's it. And this cable has a USB to serial port converter chip molded into probably this section right here. So let me hook this up and see what happens. Hopefully it won't blow up my laptop. So I'll plug this in. There it 
a flashing light here. Device driver software was not successfully installed. Okay, so I had to find out what COM port I'm connected to, and evidently it's COM port 5. And then there's some software that I need to download, and it will update uh, some firmware on the XP. So you can see the information there. COM5. FTDI. So this is Windows 7, and it actually, I guess, went out on the Internet and found drivers for this. There's more information here, USB serial port COM5. So this is the XCTU software that you use to configure your XP. So here it will scan to see if it can find any XP's. So let me make sure I check COM port 5 there. Hit next, I'll go with those default settings, port parameters. And here it's scanning. And it found it. And I can say add to add selected device. And there it is. So radio modules. So it seems to be working. So I'll play around with this software. I'll become familiar with it a little bit. And uh, but I still have to build another adapter for a second XP. Uh, the second adapter is is a little bit different. It has some mods to it, and it will be going inside the kilowatt meter. So I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe and or comment and thanks for watching.